Hello friends, I am Ashish Thorat. In this video, we are going to see the new features that have been added recently in Outlook.com. Just now, I have created an Outlook account. Immediately after logging in, it has given me a pop-up window showing the new features that are present in Outlook. Now we are Your email address remains the same but you get smarter inbox. Your email calendar and people experience look different. But the content of your messages and contacts haven't changed. The work that you used to accomplish previously can still be achieved, but this time you have got new tools to do the same. You can click on question mark on top right corner to see what's new. And if you have any suggestions, you can provide them in suggestion box. As I've create, just created my inbox, there are no emails in my inbox, it is empty. You can see we have got the feature of mail, calendar, people, OneDrive, the tasks, different office features like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Away, go to Bing and MSN. Let's go ahead and edit our profile. You can see this is my new email address. I'll go to my edit profile. Let's go ahead and add a picture to my profile. I'll click on browse button. I'll select an image. Looks good. Great. We can resize the image as per a requirement from here like this and hit save button once we are done you have also got a feature of uh, going to the Skype profile let's go ahead now it is signing into my Skype account please make a note that I have just created my Outlook account and I have got a profile created over here with all the details present we do not currently have the feature of changing the profile picture for Skype in Outlook.com or in the browser. Uh, let's hope we get this feature added. But surely we can change the profile picture in the Skype account or Skype offline software. Let's go ahead and go to our Outlook.com. You can see we have got a Skype added in the top here, top corner. The Skype is getting signed in right now. Not sure why, but my profile pic is still not showing up here. Changes have taken place. Why isn't it showing? Let's go back to our mail. It might take some time as it has just been added. Let's go to Skype and try and add some people over here. I'll add a friend. That's it, confirm. An invite request has been sent. Now we are in the inbox section of our email. We have one received email. We can see that there is a black strip at the top of our our window. This is part of our, the new Outlook theme that has came by default. To change this, we can go to settings, go to change themes. We can see a lot of themes pro provided over here. We can just select any of them that we like. A couple of new themes have been provided over here. 
you just need to select the one which you like hit ok and the theme gets added to you, your outlook permanently now you can see that there is a different kind of a viewing section for emails we are seeing that the email content can be seen in the right pane this was not present in the previous outlook this is something that was present in the outlook suit that came with office to change this viewing sec setting go to setting section go to display settings you have got three options for choosing your viewing pen first is show reading pen on the right which is the one which you are seeing right now second is show reading pen at the bottom you can see that in the background the con email content has gone to the bottom and the third one is hide reading pane this is the kind of reading pane that was provided previously in outlook you can see that there is no viewing pane right now you will just be getting the list of emails in this section for business purposes or for better readability it is always advised to see reading pane in the right by doing this you can instantly check the content of your email without having to double open that email separately additionally a new feature that was added was of the add-ins that is being provided along with the built-in add-ins like Bing Maps, My Templates and Suggested Meetings now we are having support for a lot of third-party add-ins which includes Uber, PayPal, Boomerang, Evernet and a lot of other third-party add-ins that are going to make your work very easy a new feature of copy and pasting a image into the body of your email has also been provided so when you're composing a new email if you want to add an image just copy the image from your machine and paste it into the email body the image will appear over here you can do all sorts of operations like resizing or deleting them such like that you can add additional images from like add-ins go to the Jiffy select whichever GIF you want and that will get added to the email content like this and a lot of new emoticons have also been provided with the new outlook you can get the benefit of using them a new feature to chat via the same browser interface is also been provided just go to skype select the person whom, with, with whom you want to chat then start chatting this feature is very beneficial while you are sending an email as well as directly having a conversation with that person over skype new features have also been added to the attachment section where you can select the files from your onedrive and get it attached directly to your email Side by side viewing of the attachments have also been provided. New features have been added to the calendar. The Outlook.com calendar is one of the best ways to stay in sync with your friends and family. With new features and improved navigation, you can easily manage shared calendars, quickly find events by searching for the names, invitees, location, or description, and stay on top of the dates that matter to you with over 100 country and religious calendars. I'll suggest you all to go ahead and try out the new features of Outlook.com. It will really save your time and benefit you. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day.